Mr. Duckmore, President, CEO, and Member of Board of Director of Fujitsu Network Communication, INC. He is responsible for the overall strategic leadership and general management of company's optical, wireless, software, and service and business operations. Duck has held a variety of leadership positions at Fujitsu, including SPP sales, service and marketing, development, manufacturing, and engineering. Jack is a passionate supporter and believer in STEM education. He is always says supporting STEM would contribute to the growth of digital market. We would humbly invite Mr. Doug Moore, President and CEO of Fujitsu North America to deliver his keynote speech today. Thank you very much for allowing me to be here today. So a couple things I heard. Num number one, um, trust your gut, right? And, and I remember uh, having a, a session with uh, a local executive from AT&T, Ann Chow. I don't know if any of you know Ann. And, and it was for one of our employee organizations. And she talked about her career path. And her number one guidance was embrace serendipity. So trust your gut, but be flexible and be willing to move around. The other thing that I heard very clearly was support each other. And that, I think, is just the most crucial thing any of us can do in a career, right? You have to be friends with the people that you work with. You have to have a relationship that's like a family. So a little bit about how I got here. Six or seven years ago, I ran, and actually the, the bio there was, was old. I ran our, our comms business in North America. And um, I worked for a Japanese company and tech, right? And so when we would talk about DNI, you know, well, I would hear HR say, well, you know, we're very well represented by the Asian community in our business. And I would say, well, yeah, but you know what? Like a Japanese expat doesn't count, right? And it's not that we should be counting, but it sh should be that we represent our community. Um, and we were very underrepresented with women. We still are underrepresented with women. And tech is underrepresented with women. So I sat down with a few people and said, we have to do something. We have to do something faster than the company is, 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 is working, particularly as it, as it relates to gender equity. Um, and I, I use the word equity, obviously diversity and inclusion are critical, but I think equity is an unappreciated word because equality suggests that we all have an equal opportunity. We all are, are, are given a level playing field, but equity says that everybody coming from wherever you come from can achieve the same outcome given the right circumstance. So I asked two or three very trusted um, employees, women employees, can we start with the women's affinity group? And, and my challenge was go create something and I will fund you. You define your mission, you define your purpose, and you decide where you want to take it. And they ended up creating an organization called WIN, which was our Women's Innovative Network. And within about, and by the way, there were no executives in it. And within about a year, all of a sudden, the executives were on board and that organization took off and it grew and it started moving overseas into other companies within our, uh, by the way, Fujitsu, Japanese company, like many 
uh, Japanese companies have holding company structures, so we have many subsidiaries, many operations around the world. We're $35 billion company with 130,000 employees. It, it, it has that kind of structure. But wind took off, and now what I started seeing was not just within our own ranks in the U.S., women helping women, but now around the world. Um, very shortly after that, some of the some of the founders of Win got involved to create a group called Being, which is our Black Inclusion Network, and then we created another Hispanic network and an L LBG LB. I'm not even going to try to say it. You know what I'm trying to say. LB LBG L LBTGQ network. So the point is, people helping people is where this goes. In the middle of all that, our, our, our engaged members of WIND got engaged with a group called ATW in Dallas, which is the Alliance of Women in Technology. And I love that organization. Um, I, I knew some of their early founders and it's a mission that is so, so important because what they're doing is they're, they're reaching out in the community and encouraging women in STEM in particular. And so when I say help each other, it's not just let's create a network to grow our careers. That's a given. But technology, the participation of women is between 15 and 25 percent, depending on where you are and what you do. In the United States, it is higher in India. And by the way, one of the things I've enjoyed throughout my career at Fujitsu is every time I go to India, if I meet with one of our employee groups in Pune or, or, or Chennai or Bangalore or Hyderabad, there are far more women in the room than there are in the United States. And they're engaged. They ask good questions. They challenge me. Uh, so we need more here, right? And I would ask everybody in this room who has school-aged girls, what are you doing to help enable them to move towards STEM? And if you think about where is the future going, it is technology. It's math and science and engineering. I was, I was in New York yesterday meeting with one of our partner companies doing a demonstration of a voice driven avatar and and what this company calls a digital employee and they're seriously looking at many many key functions within within our world that will be effectively managed by a digital employee. Now, when you kind of think about it, that's an oxymoron. There's, I mean, there's no such thing as a digital employee, right? It's automating away a job. That's what it really boils down to. So where will we survive and where will we flourish and where will we grow in the future world? It is driving the innovation that rightly or wrongly so, creates a lot of that technology. And by the way, one of the cool things about that is it does create sustainability. So our company has a purpose, it's very public, right? And that is to create sustainability in the world by building trust through innovation. So we wanna create good technologies that supports sustainability in our future. And I think if you look at the weather in the last 12 months, anybody who lives in, in Dallas, the last 24 months that went through Snowmageddon, uh, went through the, the tornadoes two years ago in December and, and Preston Hollow, went through Snowmageddon two this last spring, the drought and the heat this summer, and then a 10 inch rain about a month ago we should understand sustainability is critical. So all of that back to how did I get here? I was at an ATW event a 
couple couple weeks ago and Swathi very generously made a donation at that event and we got connected and now I'm here and I'll part by saying I know I've overstayed my welcome but what a great concept I honestly was not aware of she jobs before ATW I would like my company to get engaged we are striving to hire more women we want women with technology backgrounds generally speaking and it's very very difficult so you're doing something outstanding at she jobs because you are driving equity you're making it easier you're creating consumer experience and you know what i think it's gonna be a heck of a good business if 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 this were shark tank and i were mark cuman right and you were you were pitching the sharks you know I, it, it would be a no-brainer i think it'd be a, an outstanding investment so thank you for allowing me to be here tonight and please keep doing what you're doing